In the past, um, speed cameras have been labelled um, revenue raisers and I may have made a couple of donations myself. But um, what about these new cameras? What's happening with the fines from that? Pretty much uh, always, you know, ever since we've had speed cameras, m- the money gets deposited to the Road Trauma Trust account um, and there is a, a piece of legislation called the Road Safety Council Act. Uh, that, that act tells us that we have to use uh, have to spend all the money that comes in from automated enforcement uh, on road safety um, measures. Um, things that we have uh, done and continue to do out of the Road Trauma Trust account, uh, things like the Indian Ocean Drive had a lot of um, deaths a few years ago, and so there was a lot of money spent out of the Road Trauma Trust account on, on widening the road, um, putting a, a median strip up the road and having audible edge lines. So audible edge lines are getting rolled out pretty much across um, the state uh, and there's um, roughly $20 million a year or something that goes towards continuing to do that because we know that that saves lives. Uh, 30 years ago we were recording 400 deaths a year at a rate of a roughly 15 per 100,000 population. Um, today, whilst we're still not happy with the road toll and it's been bad the last couple of years, we're in the 150 to 100, 200 zone um, and the popula- population has increased and the rate of uh, per 100,000 has come down to five or six, which is still one of the highest in, in Australia. But um, one of the stubborn things that we have is, as I say, regional areas with vehicles running off roads and stuff and we have a huge network of, of roads. 